I'm a teacher and I've been creating videos for online learning. I've had a lot of teachers asking me, how do you make your videos? And so I decided to create a video sharing my five top tips for you getting started and creating your own videos. Tip number one, plan your video ahead of time. You want to make sure that you know exactly what your goal is for the video. What is it that you're trying to teach and what is the message that you need to get across to your students? It's important to at least plan out a little bit of a script so you know where you're going and you don't end up rambling through your video. You will lose your students fast. They live in a TikTok generation. 30 second videos, 15 second videos. If you're not keeping their attention, you'll lose them real quick. Tip number two. Don't hold your phone while making a video. You'll see that kids on TikTok know how to find ingenious ways to dock their camera or phone or whatever they're using so that they're not holding on to their phone while creating their videos. You don't have to buy a tripod or a fancy holder on Amazon, although it does make your life easier. Find a box. We're getting deliveries like crazy from Amazon and whatnot. So I'm gonna show you a quick way that you can create a holder with your box. Just take some scissors, cut a slit on one of the sides of the boxes, and shove your phone in it. It's that simple. If you're using a bigger device like an iPad, it does work, but there's a little bit more finagling involved. No matter what, find a way to have your phone out of your hand. Prop it up on a chair, whatever it takes to get it out of your hand. I promise you, you'll get a better shot and better video quality. Tip number three. Use basic editing. Don't plan on making your video and being done. Even trimming the end so you get out of the awkward situation or faces that you make at the beginning or the end of a video, trim that off. Plan on using some basic editing tools such as adding titles or vocabulary, um, words or pictures, anything that you can overlay to help your message come across clear and give those visual representations for students. It's really important. Tip number three leads me to tip number four. Plan on taking multiple shots to create your video. Don't sit there and create one long shot for your entire video. It's a recipe for rambling. The reason you wanna take multiple shots is to make sure that your message is short and concise and gets across the message that you need to get across in a timely manner. Or if you make a mistake, it's easier to go back and fix rather than starting your entire video all over. Every device, no matter what you're using, offers free editing software where you can stitch the videos together simply. Last tip, number five, lighting is key. Do not be the person who sits in front of a bright window casting a shadow on their face recording their video. If your kids can't see your face properly, they're not going to listen to you. Any dark room is not great for making sure that your students can read your facial cues, see your lips moving. All of those things are really important to keeping people engaged. So make sure that your face is brightly lit. One cheap go around for lighting is these cam lights from Walmart. They're 10 bucks a piece plus your light bulb. Super cheap and expensive way to get some correct lighting. I bought two of these to make sure that I have on both sides creating less of a shadow and enhancing the light. I've learned a lot through this e-learning experience so far and can't wait to share more with you. Check out my YouTube channel for more tutorials on different editing techniques to make your videos awesome.